team, today is December 10th, and we'll be updating your portfolio with a maps and navigation page. So the first thing that I'm gonna need you to do is we're gonna open up your Google Drive and we'll add a maps and navigation page if you haven't done so already. Um, we're gonna end up sharing the three lists that you made in Google Maps. We'll also share a live stream link. So I'll show you how to get those. And I would like you to share this video on your um, on your tech portfolio. So the first thing I'm going to need you to do is open up a brand new tab, and you're going to go to the waffle on the top right, and please open up your Google Drive. In your Google Drive, you should be able to locate your tech portfolio. Remember, that's the... Um, Google site that we created. So if you're starting from scratch and you have never made a portfolio, you did that by clicking new, more, and it'll be the third option down a Google site. I made mine already, so I'm gonna go find where I saved mine in my, try to be organized here. Um, and my blue team one is right here. So I already have it open in another window. And I just kinda wanted to show you on your home page, be sure that your name is spelled correctly. It says technology portfolio. Uh, your mission statement, basically that's your goal. Okay, your goal setting, you're introducing yourself, um, saying who you are and what you would like to accomplish. The other thing you may have in your portfolio is a codings page. Okay, we did scratch projects. So if you've been here from the beginning of the quarter, you're four weeks in, we have two projects in Scratch. You guys did a Thanksgiving Day greeting card, and you also did a um, interactive cheat sheet. So you made one of those. If you would like to add on to yours and update, by all means, spend some time today with that. You're gonna today hit this plus button under pages and add a new page. You're gonna call it Maps and Navigation. Okay, on the top, please change your image um, to something that has the theme of maps or navigation. Um, so if you have a favorite character, as long as they're themed about that in the picture, you can use that image. Uh, when you're first here, okay, this is all gonna be blank, so in a blank spot, you could double click and you can add your embedded link. Well, where do you find your link? In yet another tab, um, you're gonna need to open up Google Maps. Again, that's an app that you have access to, a Google app, so you can click on the waffle, you can scroll down, and you can go to Maps. Again, when it first opens, it shows you where you're located, um, and then on the left-hand side, okay, this is your menu options, you'll be able to scroll down and go under your places. Hopefully it's saved properly, and under your saved places, you may have um, various lists that you shared. Okay, if you have a list that you made, you can click on more options, say share list, and just make sure that it's shared by the link. Please don't set it to public, um, and you want it to not be private or else people can't see it. You can copy that link and go back to your portfolio. So I'm gonna go back to the version that I can edit. On my maps and navigation page, I'll just click in a blank space and I'll add the embedded link. Uh, when I paste it in here, just give it a second to think about itself, um, it will add it onto there, okay? If this is the wrong amount, don't worry, just might have to update, uh, but just say insert, okay? So hopefully you can do that for the tour that we made on Monday. Okay, about the capital region, the tour that we made on Tuesday, your global, um, so 10 total, okay, hopefully different, not seven world places, but number seven choice there. Um, and then yesterday I showed you, please make a list um, around a theme. So I chose kayaking, some people did stadiums, it was really cool, so nice job. The last thing I would like you to add is I would like you to add this um, brief history of maps. Um, so I'm just gonna copy this link and this will be available in Google Classroom. Um, but in your portfolio, I did want you to see that you can embed um, the video right on there if it's a YouTube video. So just by doing the URL, then you can insert it. Um, and I'll give you some text that you're gonna add here.
Okay, really nice job using um, the software respectfully and efficiently. Uh, so hopefully your maps and navigation page will be published. Okay, remember to hit that blue publish button. Um, now that it is the way that I like it, um, I'm going to hit that blue publish button again. And hopefully it's all good. Whenever you make a change, you do have to go through the publishing process. Um, some folks did figure out, uh, so say that I type like uh, a brief history. If I type text, um, people were really excited. Now we have the option of changing the font style. So if you want to go through and make things look pretty, um, just be careful about like that you're using it and people can still read it because sometimes it becomes overwhelming and too much. Uh, but if you want to change the style of something, you can also change the size of it. It's a new feature, so I really like that. Hopefully we can make our sites even better than first quarter kids. Um, so I do have the directions on mine. You don't need the directions on yours, um, but everything else is pretty much how it should look. Um, so if you'd like to visit my site as an example, um, some other people's sites are looking really awesome. So I really appreciate all the effort um, that you guys are putting in, checking in each day, doing the activity, um, and contributing to the Google Meets. It's awesome. It makes my day go by really fast, and it's fun. Um, hopefully this is loading. You can see my poor internet. It's trying. Um, so anyways, good luck, KMS. I hope that you have a fun time um, posting your portfolios, and I can't wait to see your work. Thanks so much.